Beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Vigils are times when God grants us the opportunity to contend in the spirit. Vigils are not just times of sitting and sleeping. They are times of intense worship and prayer. The kind of prayer that strikes a chord in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And there are so many people inside and outside, different overflows. It's our intention to make this night a fruitful one. Hallelujah. When the men of God were leading the prayer, they were bringing different aspects of spiritual reality. I'm just going to be exhorting us briefly and then we'll trust God to stand in the place of prayer and stretch our capacity in the spirit until something notable comes upon us this morning. Hallelujah. Listen, I believe that every one of us, especially for those who might be here for the first time, have come with all kinds of challenges and we are trusting God to help us. God is not a man that he should lie. Listen, that is not working for you does not mean it cannot work. Every door can open when you have the key. It will not open when you want it to open. It will open when you possess the key. Desire is not enough to bring results in the spirit. You need the keys. So I want us to pay attention. Don't allow the limitation of the flesh. This is a very prophetic moment we're entering. Can you help me with strength, please? Don't allow your flesh to limit you from receiving the fullness of that which God has for you. Hallelujah. When the man of God came to lead worship, one of the songs that blessed me so much was the song, Sunan Sa Yesu. For me, it was such a revelation. Such a revelation. For his name is greater, mightier. There are age-long captivities that must give up on your destiny this morning. I guarantee you. Yes. I'm aware that there are people who have come here with life and death situations. But there is a name. Hallelujah. There is a name. I'm a believer. I believe in God. I believe he is mighty. I believe he is able. There are no limits to him except the ones we create. 
And listen, please. If you can stretch your spirit tonight, believe me, something will come upon your life that will last you a lifetime. You do not know the amount of prayer and communications with the spirit and the heavens that went in for this meeting. No matter how far you are seated, inside or outside, the presence of God is here. So I want you to take it serious. I want you to open up your heart. Hallelujah. Because God is mine. He said, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. There is a way you have labored and done all you know to do. That you have done all you know to do does not mean that is all there is to do. It's what you know to do. He says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. When you possess those keys, you will rule even in the midst of your enemies. I want to exhort us very briefly. And then we'll storm the gates of darkness. For everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost is being returned unto me everything that was stolen prophesy one time to yourself that everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen The atmosphere everything that was lost shall be returned shall be returned unto me is a prophecy it's not a song One more time from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Speak to me, O God. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Are you praying? Hey. I tell you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. Mighty, mighty. Kadosh, Kadosh, 
Can you shout a resounding hallelujah? Let every devil know you are alive and doing well and you insist that that which belongs to you must come to you. Shout one more time hallelujah. I want to share with us a spiritual secret tonight and then we will pray. I want to share with us very briefly the secret of spiritual power. Please, I want you to pay attention. There is no man who wants to make a mark in the sands of time. There is no man living in the 21st century who wants to make any notable mark in the spirit. Who will ignore the place of power. There are so many believers who are zealous. So many believers want to become all that God has destined them to be. They have desire. They are sincere. They may even have faith. But they lack spiritual power. Hallelujah. What you will be learning very briefly and then we'll pray. is supposed to empower you. Listen. A point must come in the life of a man when you will have an encounter with power. This realm that we live in is a realm that is compelled by power. It's not compelled by desire. It's not just compelled by sincerity. It's compelled by power. Psalm 63. The psalmist began to cry and communicate something. Psalm 63. 
Are we there? Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee, my soul tasted for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and weary land where no water is. And this is why I seek for you. Verse 2. It says to see thy power and thy glory reproduced in my life the same way I saw it in the sanctuary. It's not enough to see power in the church and on crusade grounds. Lord, I want that spiritual reality to be at work in my life. Years ago, when I sensed the call of God upon my life, please listen. I began to study books and study men and women. I studied large churches and ministries. And I found out as I studied that there were so many people who were powerless and could not do much. And when God began to describe to me the kind of ministry and the dimensions that he would want me to walk in. I knew that I would have to spend time with God until I touched something genuine. Otherwise, I would have to join the band of people misleading and deceiving themselves and other people. Speaking with no results. And then, I began a journey exploring spiritual power. I began to study the lives of men and women who had been used mightily. Unfortunately, I did not find many of them that were models enough. I began to study the generals. I began to study the apostles, Elijah. Hallelujah. And in the course of my journey, for me, it was a matter of life and death. It was not just for my name. I knew that I would confront sick people. I knew that I would confront oppressed people. I knew that it would take power for any kind of increase in ministry. Spiritually, numerically, and otherwise. I knew posters would only do so much. I knew English would only do so much. And I made up my mind that I have no message for God's people until I have the power to prove it. Please pay attention to what I'm sharing. This is an exhortation. I want to stir up your heart. I watch in sincere grief as I see a lot of men of God and people who want to be used by God with so much zeal, so much English, but no power. And then a few who have taught what they believe to be power convince themselves that because they touched someone and he fell down. Why do you need spiritual power? I will tell you. Pastor Alpha and Manasseh shared it very powerfully. There are giants on every mountain. Please pay attention. This city has gates. That you are here is a sign of dominion. It's not a sign of the absence of darkness. It's a sign of the prevailing power of God over them. There are many lives here that have been buffeted by darkness I talk to people all the time and I minister, I minister all the time and I watch with shock the way Satan prevails cheaply over the lives of people there are doors that will never open until power opens them when Moses went to Pharaoh there was very little conversation when the conversations were done it was an encounter of power are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? And then I began to pray. I remember when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. He never spoke a word to me, but he transferred power. Never spoke one word, but something left him and entered my spirit. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light. And understanding unto the simple. I remember when I began to see the miracles and the hand of God. 
Then I began to see other issues that I could not contend with in the lives of people. And I knew that I had to go back. And that was when I learned that you must consistently contend for spiritual power. Let me tell you something. There is too much noise in the church because there is little power. You will always have to explain and explain and explain. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. He says, but I came to you in the demonstration of the spirit power. That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God. Tonight, I want to guide us through a few secrets. My personal spiritual journey. I promise you that if you pay attention to this little exhortation, you will encounter power. Jacob was a man who met with the Lord and he held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. It was an encounter with power. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. I said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. And he says, from now henceforth, your name is changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have fought with God. You have contended with God and a time must come in a man's life when you'll be tired of the level you are and cry in desperation. Lord, I need your power and your glory in my life. There are gates. Many of us come from all kinds of regions. Hear me. Your personal salvation does not deliver your territory. The gates are still there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are giants on every mountain. The Bible says, how terrible art thou in your works. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. I remember Bishop Oyedeko sharing one time and he said how that the church was not growing. They were fasting. They were praying. And doing all they knew to do. And it was not growing. And then. One time. While they gathered with the brethren. And they were angry at the situation. He said the Lord asked him to come out. And when he stepped out. He saw a dark cloud. And he said this is the cloud. That makes people to misunderstand your ministry. And he commanded the cloud to roll away. And there was an explosion. Let me tell you something. Time does not change anything. It is power that brings change. Time only reveals. It does not change. For 38 years, the man was sitting at Bethesda. But when the power of God came upon his life, it is power that can give you audacity to be able to bring heaven to bear. To be able to bring the realities of the realm of the spirit here and now. It takes power to change an SS genotype to an AA. It takes power to open the door of marriage for a lady that it has been closed. It takes power for a woman without womb to get pregnant. It takes power for someone whose life has been tied forever through the greatness of thy power. I made up my mind that I have no ministry if I cannot demonstrate its validity. Three keys very quickly. And then we are going to pray. The first secret the Lord taught me. Before we talk on the keys, let me just give us a little preamble. First John chapter 5 verse 9. Help us media. First John 5 verse 19. Very simple but interesting revelation that God gives us there. First John 5 verse 19. Can we read together as projected? One, two, read. Can you read it louder? One, two, read. Although we are of God, I'm giving you an information that the whole cosmos, the social system, lie in wickedness. Please believe this. That the whole world 
lies in wickedness. You don't need to offend anybody. The condition to be a victim or a potential victim of the curse that comes upon creation is that you are born of a woman. For as long as you arrive here safely, from birth until you transit, there is a potential for disaster. It takes power to reign. It says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou. Pastors, hear me. If your ministry must move from where it is, you can have all the connection in the world. It takes spiritual power. Hallelujah. It takes power for anything to happen in this life. The first key to spiritual power is consecration. Write it down. Don't trivialize what I'm sharing. If you want to see the power and the anointing of the spirit upon your life, the first key is not praying in tongues. The first key is a life of consecration. What does it mean to be consecrated? It means to be yielded. It means to be aligned. It means to be separated unto God. Consecration is a reflection of your submission. A dedication that you have given your whole self spirit soul and body you have laid down your will i see so many people who want power but they still own their wills let me tell you something if it is true spiritual power you want to see in your life your will must die your personal will your ambition you must be willing to lay it aside if you want power with god you cannot take the power of God and fulfill your own agenda. You must die to your agenda. Are you getting blessed? Spiritual power is not a gift. Make no mistakes about it. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Consecration. The price of yieldedness. The centurion when Jesus came, he made a statement. He said, for I am a man under authority. And on the strength of my submission to an authority, I can tell one go and he will go. I can tell one come. And Jesus looked at him. A Roman citizen with such an understanding of the kingdom. Forget about spiritual power when your will is still alive. You want to run your life by your own terms, by your own way. So many pastors are doing their ministry, their church. So many businessmen are doing their business until it becomes God's own. Forget about power, dedication, consecration. I'll never forget one time when I was praying. It was, it, it's not a doctrine, it's my personal concern. I had to, I was praying and I had to stand before God, lay down. I stood naked from head to toe and I said, Lord, I'm dedicated by this prophetic act, my spirit, my soul and my body. Let this mortal body become a superconductor of your anointing. I give it to you. I have no ambition of my own. My entire life is around the circumference of his will. You want to see the power of God upon your life. You must come to a point where you die to your will. Do not think God will give you power to do your thing. No. It will have to be at his terms. That's what was happening to Jacob. He touched his tie and made him everly dependent on an authority other than himself. There are so many people who are not consecrated to God. It takes dedication. It takes total surrender. That's the word. Surrender. Surrender. 
Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. You gave your everything. So I give my everything. You gave your everything. I give my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. This is the key. This is what I did with my life. Lord, take everything. Take my ambition. Take my destiny. Take everything that means life to me. I surrender it to you. And God says, if you can give me everything. He says, for because you did not withhold your son. That was the key. Consecration is not just about religious rituals. It's about a state of surrender. A state where you know that he becomes your life. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the body, the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son. Are you willing to give up everything? The problem is many of us are not willing to give up everything because we have been able to educate ourselves falsely that every time you surrender all to God, he makes you a failure. Every time you give up to God, he, he, will, he will destroy your life. But he says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. If it is your business, get set to die. If it is your marriage, get set for the pressure to kill you. If they are your children, get set to kill yourself raising them. But when it becomes his own. This song that we sing, they all belong to you. Even the air that we breathe. It all belongs to you, belongs to you, belongs to you. That's the anthem of my life. There's nothing in my life that belongs to Joshua Selma. It belongs to you. Listen, I have transferred every responsibility to him. I will play my part. But it belongs to him. My life is not my own. I have no ambition of myself. My breath belongs to him. My strength belongs to him. This is the first secret of spiritual power. Consecration. That life of surrender. Believe me. So many men of God run around with dots of oil. Looking for anybody that is anointed. And they kneel down with their carnality and flesh. You can soak yourself inside one jerry can of anointing oil. You will only get up littered with oil. But you will not touch power with God. You want power with God. The first secret is surrender. I'm not talking of born again. I'm talking of him taking everything. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was speaking to the church, but he was still crying for intimacy. Number two, the second secret of spiritual power is revelation and insight. Revelation and insight. Ephesians chapter 1, please. Let's look at verse 18. Paul the apostle prayed a prayer to the church in Ephesus. And he made an interesting statement. Help us please. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. 
He says that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, flooded with light. Then he says that ye may know. When the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light, you know. You come into oneness with a reality. It doesn't just mean to be aware. It's not talking of awareness. It's talking of a state of oneness where you and that reality have become one. He says that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. The Bible says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or imagine but all of that is limited to the power that works within us light and illumination when light breaks open over your spirit please hear me when illumination breaks open authority is given to you in the spirit one time I was in a vision. I've shared it here a number of times. And while I was in a vision, I saw a big door. Giant gate. And when I looked closely, it was zoomed to me. And I looked at it closely. And I found out that that big door was made of smaller doors. And on every door, there was a scriptural inscription on it. I saw the doors opening and closing. And every time they opened light, like an arrow would just shoot out of it. And then the Lord began to reveal to me that this is what happens when people catch a revelation of a dimension of truth, the light, the power, the anointing to demonstrate its validity is released upon them. Meaning when you teach a thing you cannot demonstrate, you have not caught the light yet, no matter how you pretend it. Illumination. Illumination. This is part of the benefit of prayer. That when you pray, capacity is given to you in the spirit. It's like a, a, an elevation in the spirit that tilts you in a position where you are able to see clearer. And on the strength of that illumination, you will walk. Hallelujah. There are so many people groping around. Dominion. I've said it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. You don't receive an impartation called dominion. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the laws and the mysteries of the kingdom. The scripture Pastor Alpha shared in Job 38, he was trying to quote it. Verse 33, it says, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Do you know the laws that govern the realm of the spirit? And can you establish their dominion? There is something that if you know right now, the door that has been closed over you will open. There is an access to light. There is something when a pastor knows, increase becomes unlimited. There is something when a man of God knows, his life becomes a mystery. Every man functions according to the measure of light that is accessible to him. The Bible says you will only arise and shine to the degree to which your light has come. Not when you are tired of sitting. Arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let me tell you a little secret. Especially if you are in ministry. There is a level of spiritual illumination that begins to rise from your life and your ministry it starts attracting a kind of people first it will attract gentiles kings will not come yet kings don't come to your life they come to the brightness so there is a degree of illumination you have that will begin to bring certain people but as the light keeps getting brighter it will begin to compel certain kinds of people light illumination I'm not just talking of Bible study. I'm talking about access to the mysteries of the kingdom. He says, call unto me 
And that's why we are praying tonight. Because we need access to light. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call unto me and I will answer. He says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things we do not know. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants. Not everything is accessible to everyone. When Saul and his men watch this. Uh, was it Saul or David now? I can't get the story quite clearly. But when they were returning back, they were tired and hungry. And they went to the priest and asked. They said, we want bread. Here's what the priest said. They said he said, there is no ordinary bread. The common bread is finished. But there is a hallowed bread. There are deeper things in the spirit. Weightier dimensions of illumination that can turn a man to become like a spirit. But it happens when you call upon him. He says, call unto me. When the king wanted to destroy Daniel and all his friends, he said, let the king not be hasty in this. I will bring the king a right answer. He went back and called upon him and his eyes were open. He says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The next dimension of our life and destinies are at the mercy of spiritual secrets and mysteries. This ministry, by the grace of God, is revolving around mysteries. Spiritual mysteries. A mystery is a hidden code of operation. It's a spiritual code of operation that only takes the agency of the Holy Ghost for you to understand its operation. And it says it has been given unto you to know. There is a mystery that will command dominion in your family. That all those powers of darkness that attempt to tie people's destinies down. Illumination. Number three. The third key to walking in spiritual power is being and remaining full of the Holy Ghost. Being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. There are different measures and dimensions of the Holy Spirit that can find expression in people. But if you want spiritual power in your life, let me tell you there is no laziness. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. It was, it was Stephen. While he was about to be stoned, the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost and power to a point that his face was like that of an angel. In Bible time, the condition to be a worker in the welfare department is that you are full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. That was a requirement. To serve tables, you must be full of the Holy Ghost. There are so many believers who are not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why we carry our emptiness and we keep embarrassing ourselves. And there is one spiritual key to being full of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. Prayer. The ministry of prayer with fasting. It's the key. Spiritual key. That's why we must pray. When you are full of the Holy Ghost. Brothers and sisters, there is an energy that is generated within you. Every yoke, is, the Bible gives us a picture. It's like an expansion that is happening. There is a level that expansion gets. It breaks every chain at once. At once. Full of the Holy Ghost. That's the level that we must contend. That you pray to a point where you become full of the Spirit. And certain things will happen to you the moment you are full of the Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine wherein in excess. It says, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are truly filled, 
naturally certain things will start you will start speaking not by your mental asset you are speaking as a response because when when you are full of anything whatever spirit or agency fills you up begins to live out its nature through you manifesting its characteristics through you that's how people become superhuman they are full of the holy ghost to a point that they become puppets their voice is the voice of the spirit their hands have become the hands of the holy ghost so when they tell you god bless you they speak on the strength of the agency the only way to communicate being full of the holy spirit is being drunk when a man drinks to stupor there is a level to which he drinks and that that alcohol influences his mind and his faculty and momentarily he loses consciousness at that point he will say things and do things that are a direct influence of that alcohol when you become full of the holy spirit then the spirit of prophecy will fall on you and you will begin to speak and call things that be not let me tell you something the correct order of dominion prayers is to pray in tongues until you are full before you begin to prophesy you don't just stand up and start saying in jesus name gates open no there is a dimension you stretch in the spirit it's like an escape velocity when you get there the spirit of prophecy comes upon you and you begin to make decrees and i trust god that we'll get to that dimension tonight that is the level where you can call things that be not as though they were that is the level where the anointing will shatter every yoke when you are full of the holy spirit but when that power is at work in your life it begins to activate possibilities brothers and sisters hear me it takes power for the gate of your destiny to be opened. Every one of us here is on our way to destiny. But it takes power. Otherwise the gates will not open. Tonight, hear me. You are going to stand and pray until the chains that lock up the gate of your destiny give way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm preparing our hearts because we are going to pray. The devil must give up on you. You must pray until that spirit of barrenness jumps out of your life. You must pray until the chains that are tying down your life go. You must pray. There is a way you can pray yourself to victory. It's like a flight in the spirit. You keep praying. When the flesh is tired, you say, no way. When you keep ascending, you will get to a point in the spirit where you would have touched reality. Brothers and sisters, you will never come back again. It's an escape velocity in the spirit. And then you wake up and all of a sudden you see doors opening. Don't wait until a word of knowledge is given or a prophecy. Tonight we are praying ourselves to destiny. We are kings and priests. We will take on the priestly role first. We will stretch in the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? James chapter 5 verse 13. Is any man afflicted? let him pray not let him discuss not let him complain is any man challenged by gates are there doors that have refused to open let him pray is any man jobless and you've done your applications and doors are not open pray your way to victory terminal diseases it's because they have an occasion to lead to your flesh. When you generate power in the spirit, when you generate fire in the spirit, it burns every chaff. Does any man desire to see signs and wonders and miracles in your ministry and in your life? Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. 
let me repeat it anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power you can pray your way to victory in the spirit you can pray your way to favor and breakthrough you can pray your way and smash those doors he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes prayer when the apostles were caught and james was beheaded it pleased herod the people were happy and they bound peter they were about to kill peter and the church said no way and they began to pray prayer authorizes heaven to step in in your affairs when you pray you authorize heaven when you pray you activate the ministry of angels when you pray you begin the work of creation creation did not stop on the seventh day god only rested those who can access the power and the light tonight i want you to be angry with the things that have been happening in your life some of us are like a battery we have gone down spiritually you must pray yourself to fullness there are so many men of god who do not pray and they stand and do all kinds of gymnastics let me tell you something nothing in your life will cover for the absence of prayer when a man is not a prayer man it shows there is there is a touch of eternity upon you when you're a man of prayer for elijah was a man of like passion and he used prayer to lock the gates over a city he did not use a discussion with ahab prayer he locked the gate and kept the keys in his pocket he said that gate will not be open except at my word tonight you can pray yourself to victory inside and outside and all around there are families that have come tonight people have traveled from far and near it's time to pray yourself to victory pray yourself to victory until you are full of the holy ghost the key of consecration the key of illumination the key of prayer being full of the holy ghost you become a bank of spiritual power hear me let me say this especially this seems to work only for men of god it may not be applicable for other people but let me give pastors a secret the day power comes to your life poverty has died forever i guarantee you i the day power comes upon your life genuine spiritual power not nonsense that people are doing around the day power comes you have gotten something that is worth it i was teaching the school of ministry students and i told them that if not for anything when you find the anointing you have found what is more than gold we trivialize the anointing hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference oh god you are my god early like we are doing will i seek you my soul thirst for you i want to see your power and your glory hallelujah praise the lord Media, do you have this in the trim audio? They don't have it. There will be different sessions and I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoint us and all of that and then we can minister to people but we need to pray do you have it are you ready with it okay so quickly everyone is going to participate we are going to pray it takes prayer it takes prayer everyone say it takes prayer to command victories say it takes prayer that's what a vigil is a vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and and 
banana cake. You are joking. A vigil is a time to tell the devil, Christ has won this. I come to establish my victory. Listen, the breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you. You never know how cheap Satan is until you're a man of prayer. You never know how cheap doors can be. How cheap they can open. Pray. Pray. When you pray in the secret, then you make your life easy in the open. But when you do not pray, many of us pray, but we pray amiss. Tonight I want to teach you strategies, deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results. That you are talking does not mean you are praying. There are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration. There, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement. I don't know about you, but part of my request, I told God, I must step into new levels of grace in this vigil. Shortly before I came here, I lay down flat before the Lord and I said, Lord, my personal desire, I know you will use me to touch and bless your people. But whilst that is happening, I hold on to your garment. There is a new level. I saw in a vision a curtain open and there was another one and I was pushed forward. I said, that's it. I must pray till what I have seen. Many of you have seen things in your dream. Prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass. You have seen a great life. You have seen a prosperous destiny. But there are gates. Make no mistakes about it. Your business will not just excel. There are gates. Sister, the marriage will not just happen. There are gates. But tonight ministries and destinies will rise to a new level please i'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit prepare your spirit rise up everybody inside and outside please rise up the first prayer point is a cry for grace Call it the spirit of prayer and supplication. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication. Just pray. Please, everybody, rise. Rise, rise, rise. Stand on your feet. You came to pray. Do this for the sake of your destiny. Open up the gate. Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Open up the gate. Open up the doors. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly. Say, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. Take everything inside and outside, right to the back. Lord, I've tried to live my life my own way. I surrender everything. I surrender my will, my ambition. I surrender everything. 
it belongs to you pray total surrender Lord, it belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Media, are you ready? Please let me know when you are ready. You are ready? Now, hallelujah. Dr. Cindy Trim is a woman of prayer. Cindy Trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer. And we are going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration. She makes prophetic declarations. It's an audio. While that is happening, until it finishes, is a guide. The moment it starts, we are stretching in the spirit. No sleeping. Anyone who is sleeping, hold his hands and walk around with them. No sleeping. Praise the Lord. Because this is about your destiny. Outside, make sure you participate. Whatever you do, be ready to stretch it in the spirit. And I want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit. Where you are tearing down the walls of limitation. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands over your people and I ask for a supply of grace to pray. Grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you. Let the capacity, the capacity to stretch in the spirit. It cannot be by your efforts. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Praise the Lord. Lift your voice, everybody begin to pray in the spirit. Pray like a priest. Only in the spirit. Only in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues. For as a prince. As a prince. This is not just your normal prayer life. I know, I know normally you pray. You are under a heavy unction. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. up your Bibles please Psalm 92 Psalm 92 We're entering another phase. Verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read.
One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my horn. It says, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Listen. The Lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that. This is ordinary oil but there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this and this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance this is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life this is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs I saw this when I was praying in a vision and that's why I'm just doing this we're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do I'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just dab your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of jesus christ can you open them for me? this is ordinary oil but by the power of the holy spirit i declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the spirit many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen tonight is a night of encounter with power hallelujah it's a night of encounter with power father I lay my hands upon this in a name that is above all names may they become conduits of your power may they become instruments of power as this comes upon the heads of many in the name of jesus christ i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs Supernatural freshness, supernatural grace by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice and begin to pray and say, Lord, as this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you praying? As this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you still praying? Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination. New dimension of victory. New dimension of grace. Don't, don't start applying it yet. We're tired of the status quo There's gotta be more than me There's gotta be more than me
Hallelujah. Now listen. Please, I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil. It has the power of God. What you do is just pass it to the first person. You just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies. We'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there are, there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone. Hallelujah. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Father, let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Shabbat about to just tap it, lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues. Go ahead, everybody. You can put it on your hands if you want to, but go ahead, quickly, quickly. Just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrees. Make decrees. Believe what you are doing. Make decrees. Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they, do they have the oil? Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure you're speaking. My life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. Go ahead. Please pray. Speak to me, O oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Where is the man that was here kneeling with the child? Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family that came here. A family that came here. I think this, this has to do with sickness. This is a family. Is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity? Please quickly, let's save time. We have, we still have a lot. Hallelujah. Stand up, sir. Where is your wife? Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you. I don't know if this is your first time coming here. But the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case. Believe me, the atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name Memuna, I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy. 
please make your way to the front the Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace quickly quickly please where is that person this young boy what is this that I'm seeing I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him this is what I'm seeing it came from you to him please collect this child let me minister to this woman please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out why are they here Memuna is that your name help us with a mic please huh this little girl. How can such a little girl be so oppressed? You are sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. In a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression an attack is not just on your baby this thing you are the one who really needs to be free not even the baby you get the point but you have calm down now madam let me talk to you i'm seeing you in the spirit there's no mic okay that's all right i'm looking at this madam in the spirit and i'm seeing you fatter than this I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. It's what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? you believe that where do you walk are you walking where sterling bank it won't be too long god is going to take you from that place you know this now you have been preparing towards yes no, not true uh, because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing a referee like a you know when it's almost time in a football match this is what i'm seeing your time there is almost up and god is going to lift you i prophesy it in the name of jesus christ and i'm declaring that let this happen in the name of jesus christ there is need to pray for your child um, i'm looking at this child and i'm seeing something like symptoms of fever temperature we have to pray for him father in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit everything that is not of god upon this child i take authority over it in jesus name madam the lord says i should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor please i want you to believe me i don't just talk if god has not told me anything do you believe father bring this family into tremendous realms of favor in the name of jesus christ why am i seeing memuna on your head are you memuna that's your name come you too you are memuna. i'm seeing a name written on her head and i'm seeing memuna is that your name or is the name of someone?
and I will restore. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? Two things. Number one, your relationship with God. Huh? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. You get what I'm saying, right? Leave all those friends and focus. Use this night. Let this be a night of determination in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let her be free. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I'm going to pray for the sick, but then I cause sickness from your body in the name of Jesus. And every act of witchcraft, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon this baby. What's the name? What's your child's name? Madam, what's your child's name? Destiny. I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you. Be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, be prayerful. Eh? Be prayerful. There are some things I cannot show here, but you see, let me speak in parables. You cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me. Are you getting what I'm saying? You cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me. It's very important. Be prayerful and he's either Lord of all. He cannot share his glory with any other thing. You get what I'm saying, madam? The Lord is going to lift you and take you. Please, I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them. This is your child. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is spirit. Let her go now. Out! By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I pray for you. I'm seeing three babies. There are some women here. I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb. Please, who is that person? I'm, no, you are not standing for anybody. You came for yourself. Who is that person? Let me just minister to the person very quickly. Please, let's save time. Fruit of the womb. Because the Lord is showing me, I just had the cry, three babies. Congratulations, madam. Where is she? Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. There's somebody here. You are here with five broad. Right now as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, I see the healing angels. Stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it. But he's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady. And she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen 
I want you to know that Jesus heals here. We have a track record by the grace and the mercies of God. I'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically. Please make your way to the front. Just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost water to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son. This boy is standing. It's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her. So they went to consult with somebody. Huh? They went to consult with somebody. This person is like a herbalist. And he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the madam. He got it wrong because his understanding is limited. It's not like the boy wants to kill her. But the spirit at work in him is what is tying her. Both of them. This is the spirit of death. She would have died on the 22nd of this month. 22nd would have buried her. It would have been over. She would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd. God, you are higher than any other. I can say He's awesome in power. Come on, sing it like victorious people. Oh God. Voice and say, Our God is greater, hey. our God is stronger. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting this boy. Who speaks out now? Mama, Kiberta, leave her. Hey, Kiberta, bad to find her. She looks like a fuller human. She, she understands how sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive guest breakthroughs and testimonies we may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but i want you to know that god is going to bless you peter adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto god and the moment that happens i will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements we're done everybody give jesus praise as we celebrate him
worship you, Jesus. Celebrate you, Jesus. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we come to let you know You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most high You. Father, we love you. Oh, Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we're here to let you know. You are the most I God. Join me, say, Father. Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Say, Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Father, we worship you. Oh, oh. you are the most I God. Father, we worship you. Say to the Lord, you are the most high God. Father, we wait on you. Oh, you are the most high God. We wait on you, Jesus. We wait on you, Jesus. You are the most high God. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we worship. You are the most high God. Jesus, Father, we reverence you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship you. Father, we love you, Jesus. Here to let you know. We open up our hearts. 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 Come fill us, Jesus, with the water of life. We open up our hearts to you, Jesus. We worship you. Come and pour out your spirit on every flesh, oh God. We worship you. We pour our love on you. We pour our love on you. Till every flesh is crucified in us. We worship you. Oh. 
Father, we worship you. You are the most high. You are the most high God. We worship. Father, we worship you. We worship. You are the most high God. We worship. With our hands lifted up, we worship. We we lift up our hands, it's to you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, with our hands lifted up, we worship you, Jesus. We worship. Yes, we worship Jesus, the King of Glory, the Lamb of God who was slain. Before the foundations of the earth, we worship you, Jesus. Yeah. Desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. Say I'm lost without you. Say it. I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. There's no me without you. There's no me without you. Say it. No me without you. There's no life without you. There's no life without you. Oh. Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I need a turn. I'm desperate for. Oh. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you, Jesus. I can breathe without you. I'm lost without your shame. I'm lost without I'm lost without you say. I'm lost without you. Church say I'm lost without you now say. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost And the rain of your presence for us Say I am lost without you Cover us with your grace, Jesus <laughs> Say I am lost without you And the rain of your presence, oh God I'm lost without you I'm lost without you I'm lost without you We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your hands, oh God. I'm lost without you. Here is power in the name of Jesus. Here is power. Break every chain, say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. 
Shall break every chain. 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 Come on, say, break every chain. Break every chain. Every chain. Every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every Say break every chain, say. Oh, 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 oh. Break every chain. Break every chain, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Break every chain, oh God, oh God. Break every chain. Break every chain. Make every chain.
With the lifting up of our hands to you So we worship With our hearts open wide to you Oh, we worship Hallelujah to your name Some join me and say, You have a wonderful Say hallelujah as the highest prayer. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The chorus said, Hold you God helps you. He gave you 10 naira to buy a tie. And you leave the tie before God and say, Lord, this is your faithfulness. I never imagined I would get a shirt. Now you have added a tie for me. He adds a tie clip and you say, Lord, I just noticed that you added a tie clip. And God said, what sort of person are you? You mean you are doing this to me? Let him have a greater supply. And he gives you a shoe. And he said, Lord, who am I? Who am I? I ask you for a palm sandals and you gave me a shoe i'm grateful and while you are saying that people will look at you and say you are thanking god for a tie and a palm sandals are you stupid what about the admission what about the job how long will you marry or will you stay before you get married you are 37 are you aware you say i'm aware of that keep that one aside lord i thank you I thank you for the fact that I started a small shop and people are coming to eat. I know that my desire is that I will have a restaurant in the future. But for this small shop, two people came today and ate. As a pastor, you are crying and asking God for members. And seven people come. And you don't just yell your anger on all of them and shout at them. But you say, Lord, I thank you. Because these people who are coming are not yet members. These are my leaders. And so I will train them and I will be serious. My faithfulness with seven people will bring a crowd. I remember our first crusade. We were very few. A handful of people. 
God did great things, but we were very few. But I remember thanking the Lord for it. We could not even afford a video camera. But we thank God for it. Do you realize that for some of you, this is the word of the Lord to you tonight. You have allowed ingratitude. Listen, God knows we are humans. Brothers and sisters, I taught us last week. It is true that the vicissitudes of life have a way of pushing a man to a point where you are so overwhelmed. I know. I know that you need to pay the school fees of your children. I know that nobody sponsors you. I know that you have HIV and the antiretroviral drugs are beginning to fail. I know that the infirmity has remained there. I know that the devil has attacked your family. There are families here that have come from different places. They have come literally as whole families to come and cry before God. I understand. I will be a fool to deny the presence of that. We are humans. It's okay to be human. I taught us last week. It's okay to cry. It's okay to express your pain. But remember. Remember the things that he has done in your life. Not the things he has not done. If there is one testimony in your life. It's a sign that more are coming. If God gave you one testimony. Remember David. David. When he killed the lion and killed the bear. When he stood before Goliath, he went to the archives of his testimonies and said, the God who gave me the lion, the God who gave me the bear, that same God will deliver me. That's how to confront challenges in life. You look at your body and they tell you you have fibroid or ovarian cyst and it's increasing. Yes, you are, you are going through pains and you are bleeding. But you say, I remember, there was a time I used to have a wound that would not heal. And the power of God healed it. The God who healed that will do the same for me. Please, I'm teaching you how to frustrate Satan. Don't let the devil have a toll on you. Don't let the devil mark you for ingratitude. When the devil marks you for ingratitude, he will keep orchestrating events in your life that will keep you angry, complaining. Do you know how many people die of high blood pressure and hypertension? And all of those things are caused by frustration. That you give God thanks. God gives you a job. While you are rejoicing, they suddenly call you and say, sorry, something has happened. Um, we may not be able to take the people again. And you've gone to testify in the house of God. And you turn back and say, Lord, you are faithful. I give you praise. Pastor Jakes always says he's a faithful God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Your situation irrespective. He is good. Everybody say God is good. Say it. God is good. Look your challenges to the face and say, God is good. Say, my God is good. Yes, my God is good. My God is good. I don't know about yours, but my God is a good God. My God is a good God. I'll never forget one time when a car hit me many years ago. I ran to go and buy, was it Gary or Chinchin or something? And 10 naira was about to take my life. I think it was Gary or something. I wanted to hurriedly soak it and help myself. In a bit to cross back. The devil just orchestrated it. Because he knew that there are millions of lives that must be changed. And blessed. And he just came and the car. It was, I, was, I was in the middle of the road. I didn't know what to do. All I had was there was sound of a break and there was, it was as if I was dreaming. I just saw myself at the other side of the car and I had people shouting, hold him, hold him. They said, if they don't hold me, I'll stand up and I'll be mad. I just looked at them. I looked at my guard here. I picked it. I told them, I said, give me, yes. I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. That night, my leg, there was, it, it swelled up for days. There was intense pain. But God is my witness. I said, I have met death. And I overcame. That's why I don't fear death. I've gone through too many things in my life. I've slept on speaker. I've slept on amplifier. I've, I've, come on now.
Muimaka Sujada Muimaka 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 Sujada Muimaka Muimaka Ninaimaka Sujada Lord I give you I give you I give you the highest praise I give you I give you I give you the highest praise I give you I give you I give you the highest praise very soon I'm going to give us room about 10 minutes and it's going to be exclusive expressions of gratitude it's going to be you alone i know you came for a miracle service but father mother brother sister you're going to forget about whoever you came with i don't know how you are going to express it but i'll give us room shortly you are going to begin to count your blessings and say my god was it not just last month i had an accident i never gave you thanks for it lord i'm i'm grateful i started small but see what you have made out of my life lord we started from two members and now we are 35 i thank you i thank you when a situation overwhelmed me i did not know that morning will come yet you have kept me that it has become 20 years i remember when they said i had a heart disease for instance oh lord see what you have done in my life they said people die in our village they don't get to 20 now i am 60 years i give you thanks expressions of gratitude we forget many times we forget we are asking god for more lord do more for me but you are alive but you are healthy you go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs hanging their legs for six months and you hear them singing praises day and night with their legs hanging if you can be grateful not just tonight if you make it a lifestyle i guarantee you there is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper you will you will you will thank your way to the throne you will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne it's an unbeatable secret of greatness i thank god all the time i thank people all the time gratitude a simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man hallelujah every everywhere that i go everything that i do i'll hear it sanana yeah 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 that's my testimony I'll hear him sanana I'll hear him go by gejena Abang mama kide Yesu ya para je Help me son minutes you alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes
your blessings count your blessings oh god you are good and your mercy endures forever if the lord had not been by our side now may koinonia say thou oh god art the shield for us you are glory the lifter up of our heads you are our glory the lifter up of our heads for the things that you have done for the battles that you have won for the things that you have done for the battles that you have won only you alone are worthy lord we magnify your name thank you jesus protector redeemer provider defender announcer lifter sustainer we thank you we thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people we thank you for the miracles we thank you for signs for wonders for food for shelter we thank you for your faithfulness for exalting our heads like the horn of the unicorn we thank you for miracle jobs we thank you we thank you we thank you thank you for our families oh god you have been good Oh God, you have been good. Three more minutes. Give him thanks. Three more minutes. to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed where lives can be transformed go ahead and thank him Lord we give you thanks not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement we are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer defender protector our hope our anchor we have no other God we have no other place you alone oh God deserve the glory of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside For the things you have done 
and the battles you ever won only you are worthy of our praise we magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. Oh, 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery I've seen this thing many times in the Bible I want you to read it one to read stop just the A part one more time It says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress, crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation. That Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options. And you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. If you don't give me a husband, I cannot get one. If you don't give me a job, there is no job for me. Crying to the Lord is more than just saying, Oh God, help me. Blind Bartimaeus cried, and this was his cry. Thou son of David, art not thou miracle worker. I know you. I know your power. Will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this? I'm blind. But I've heard about you. That you are the God who can wipe the tears of people. I've heard about you. That you are the one who makes the barren to sing. I've heard about you. That you are the one who raised Job back. I've heard about you. It says they cried unto the Lord. Whenever you are in trouble. Stop discussing. The key is to cry unto God. We have prayer requests here. Many of us are standing, trusting God to touch us. The key tonight is to cry unto God. And the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses. Verse 28. 28 very quickly. One more time. Let's read. One to read. Again, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He bringeth them out of their distresses. Next verse. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves tear off. The waves that are killing you, that looks like you will not survive. He says God has the ability. There is something he can tell that trouble. It must hear his voice. Next verse. He says then, as a result, they are glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them where? Unto their desired heaven. Listen. God knows your intentions. God knows your desire. He has the ability to bring you to where? Your desired heaven. But the key, after gratitude, you are authorized to cry. To cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment. When you cry, you are saying, Oh God, let your goodness and your mercy speak. At this point, it's not because of what I have done. At this point is, if it is with my intellect, 
if it's with my money if it's with my connection i have failed i cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before i minister we are going to cry to god listen i told you crying to god is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me i know this and tonight i cry to you the bible says he can calm the storm he can calm the storm oh yes he can lift your voice and cry to your maker thou son of david let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight pray lord there is nothing new about my situation you have done it before the bible is full of records of your faithfulness how you parted the red sea before people how overnight you turned the captivity of men and women pray lord i don't know how you will do it but i know you can do it they cried unto the lord in their trouble he said call upon me in the day of trouble cry to the lord my rent has expired i'm not working i have no idea but i cry to you i have multiple carryovers i don't know what will happen to me but i cry to you thou O oh god the lifter up of my head the one who is able to change my story i've not come to an idol it is within your power to help me oh thou ebenezer arise for me you are my ebenezer the helper of man god can help you listen to me god can help you god can help you they cried unto the lord in their distress Cry unto the Lord and watch what you will do in your life. Don't give him options. Don't give him options. Lord, you are my only source. I cry to you. Pray. My only hope of entering into my desired heaven. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of our God. Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. No, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Come on, let your faith rise tonight. No. Lord, step in, Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. One more time. Lord, step in, Lord, step in. Step hallelujah the Lord is healing a lady right now please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue I'm seeing a lady you came here with severe pain on your neck check it now 
check it now the lord is touching you the lord is touching you i'm seeing an elderly man in this place um you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region the lord has just touched that man right now he's an elderly man i don't know where that person is please testify check yourself and immediately you find out you are healed make your way to the front make your way to the front god is touching people right now i don't know who i'm seeing an ear god is touching someone's ear it's like i don't know if it's an ear issue but god is touching it right now god is touching it right now god is touching it right now please check yourself and make your way right now right now let's just have two or three of those people god is touching it right now right now doing a miracle for somebody um i'm seeing somebody that has i don't know if it's um i don't know what to call it but it's like a serious stomach issue it comes and hooks you literally you are gasping for breath when that happens to you it's like it literally holds you check yourself now you will find out that the lord has touched you make your way to the front very quickly you can make your way right here miracles are happening come on give jesus praise miracles are happening miracles are happening god is touching people right now can you give jesus praise god is touching people god is touching people right now i'm seeing someone with an eye problem you see like a black object it comes and goes it's like a it's, it looks like a needle like a black object you'll be looking at people and then you will see it this has happened for a while but God has touched you right now. Who is that person? Make your way to the front. Right now. I'm seeing someone's left leg outside. In the overflow. There is someone with a left leg issue. Left leg. It's like you came towards the, 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 uh, this area where I'm holding. I'm seeing the power of God touch that area. Check it right now. Check it right now. And confirm your healing. And make your way to the front. Check it right now. Confirm your healing. Make your way to the front. Hallelujah. Have they checked themselves? Sir? You've checked yourself? Okay, so quickly. We'll just take two or three. You can turn. Please come up. Come up. Let them come up. When you come, you can stand. Please come up, man. Come up, sir. Go ahead. Just tell us quickly, straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have an ear issue and it normally scratches me sometimes. Okay. And I'm feeling better by completely give right jesus now. praise hallelujah give jesus praise it never returns to you in the name of jesus yes sir please let's celebrate jesus celebrate what he's doing for some, yes for some years i have been experiencing pain here pain he, at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region yes. yes you know i gave now, a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody in lower abdomen. Better. and better. How, how about better. now exactly it's better. in the name of jesus christ lord we declare that it is perfected Wow, the power of God is coming on you. It's perfected right now. Never to return to you. In the name of Jesus. Please check it, sir. Check it. Check it right now. Check it. Okay. It's check getting it. better. Yes. And pain. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling you will better. be perfected in the name of Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. For the past two weeks now, I've been having ear pain. Ear it's pain. A, it's an attack. Okay. I have cold. I have kata. So... The thing blocked my ear. I don't used to hear very well. So now I'm I'm okay. Completely. Yes. Madam, what? The Lord is bringing increase for you. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing a serious attack. Your money has gone down. Yes. Because this this I'm seeing this has to do with. I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be yes, before again. Yes, is that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want to thank God because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain? Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain, how long? It's like, it's for months. It comes and goes. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear. It affects my ear, but 
when you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone. Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater. And I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. your family here is the time for the visitation where is our family please come there is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now I see that family please where is our daddy and our mommy please appreciate them as they come enough of the nonsense of darkness please celebrate them as they come miracles everywhere miracles everywhere Lord we Miracles everywhere right now, right now, right now. Right now. Right Hallelujah. Now. Sir, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now but i'm seeing one of those people have dreams that's their daughter you see the power of god touching her she's their daughter she's the person with this case i'm mentioning i'm seeing dreams and it's like people pursuing the person this thing started right from your family and this is already following this lady because i'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach it's starting now as pain I, I remove that fibroid right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer this is what I'm seeing this woman has been a defense I'm seeing her crying before God and saying Lord will you not wipe our tears in this family but tonight we see miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now, right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. Sir, there are many people who can help you. But every time they want to indicate helping you, something just comes and nobody is willing to help you. Because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face. This thing has covered your glory. Whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you. And for some reason, they, uh, they don't help again. Hallelujah. Who is Adamu? I'm hearing a name, Adamu. Adamu, I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu. Adamu, please help, help those on the Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu. Adamu. Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? Adam. What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu. Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. He's your father, right? Where is he? At home, Nasara State. In Nasara State. Yes, sir. Because 
this enchantment that is done against your family enough is enough it's part of your prayer request right yes, number five six uh, number two and three yes, number two and three prayer requests yes, sir. look at it there yes, that's sir. it number two and number three that's what you wrote Lord read it miracle read it miracle in your family yes, that's what i'm reading what you are writing and god is giving a miracle yes, a big miracle to adam miracles everywhere i see miracles everywhere right now right now right now, right now. Right now. I, see I see miracles everywhere Lord, we see miracles miracles everywhere The spirit of God is ministering to me. I'm seeing the anointing of the spirit. I'm looking at a map and I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people from Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people from Yola. It will come like a tornado upon you. It's a miracle that God is doing right there. There is a lady's elder sister who has been barren. I'm seeing the number three, three years. Barren, barren. Help them. That lady is from Yolan. She's an usher. She's walking. But the spirit of God, I'm seeing is a wicked demon. This is what I'm seeing that has been oppressing her family. I don't know if she's from Yola or not. But I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle. Sir, I'm going to pray for you. Mommy, I will minister to you. Madam, the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over. The crying is over. Right now as I speak, the power of God is coming on you. The Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over. Right now, the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head pouring it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ by the anointing of the holy spirit pouring what looks like vials of oil now i curse this spirit i address you by the power of the holy spirit let this family go now 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 this curse that has tied down the family even the lawful captive shall be delivered he said for i will contend with them that contend with you right now the power of god is touching people i see deliverance 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 fire lift your hands everybody let's just interrupt this deliverance fire right now it will start touching people at the count of three father the angels of god there are many angels in this place bringing deliverance for families at the count of three let that fire come right now one two three receive it right now right now right now right now bring them out deliverance for families outside i'm seeing the angels of the lord go outside outside the power of god is moving it's like fire coming on families it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire it's like fire we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now we see miracles everywhere we see miracles miracles everywhere we see miracles everywhere right now hallelujah lift your hands father where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer that from the village now i'm not one who just talks so much about village but this one is from the village i see an attack at the count of three one two three from the village those arrows back to sender shakatata leketata reketatata from the village i see enchantments from the village i see altars i see covens 
I set them on fire. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. They are calling your names. From the village, from the village, enchantments, witchcraft, death, outside, outside, fire is falling. What fire is falling? Fire is falling from the village. Speakings of death, enchantments of death. Yahweh. 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 The name above all names. Yahweh. We call you Yahweh. I'm ready to pray for you now i didn't just leave you i need to pray for you my god there is massive deliverance going on in this place my dear lift your hands where you are an angel of the lord is touching you right now right now mama an angel of the lord is touching you he's doing something in your husband's life your husband's life there is a miracle that is happening Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come. This woman, this woman wearing pink. No, no, no. I mean, that one. The one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. Your time for a serious visitation has come. Let's stretch our hands towards daddy. Bring her. Be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Go! Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I announce a new season. I announce a new season. Mommy, the spell is broken. Broken, 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season. You will go back and experience dramatic turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning. Unusual sources of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Madam, I want to pray for you. Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here. I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl. A lady. A girl, yes. A lady. Where is she? Please call her name. Let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family. Right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, sir. that God yes. will visit your family. Yes, sir. And tonight God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something i'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like i don't know if it's poison
this is something that has been put to this lady I curse that devil I curse you back to hell back to hell from where you came from hallelujah mommy please stand up let me pray for you man you can stand up please I want to pray for you God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life please I want you to note it dramatic breakthrough it will so surprise you hold my hands father in the name of Jesus Christ let captivity come to an end in the name of Jesus captivity comes to an end I release supernatural breakthrough supernatural breakthrough supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus and for you supernatural breakthrough mama I pray the Lord told me that the tears have come to an end He's wiping your tears father thank you for your word in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in the name of Jesus Christ I pray remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you in this season he's doing new things he will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined he will do this for his glory the spell of bad luck over your life is broken bad luck there's something about your life that makes people hate you it's a spirit and there are people here lift your hands everybody I'm praying for you whatever makes people hate you for no reason I want you to know that it's not normal you will see what will happen right now there are people here I know that people have those kinds of things but there are people with those things it's like an aura on you as I was ministering to her the Lord said minister to the house father where are they right now in the name of Jesus let the anointing locate them inside and outside that spell of bad luck right now right now in the name of Jesus 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 Justina the Lord is bringing miracles to your family miracles to your family I'm seeing a lady from is it Oka Oka that should be East I'm, I'm, Oka is anyone from like that I'm seeing a lady our minister generally will pray for the sick now but I just want to flow Oka Oka is there someone like that please if you are like that you can make your way to the front the Lord wants me to pray for that family my dear you with a white hair tie that lady you turning back lift your hands where you are I don't know what it is that I'm seeing but God is destroying an embargo over your life and family Lord Jesus I destroy it right now in the name of Jesus where you are standing I destroy it by the power of the Holy Spirit you are from there you are from Oka where is that Anambra State Anambra State yes. I'm going to pray for you you're also from there huh? make your way to the front you are from there too three of you look at me you cannot be a victim you and your sisters of the wickedness of people in the village are you hearing what I'm saying hold my hands father it must end this must end it must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit this is this is I'm seeing enchantment this is this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life you and your sisters I pray for you father you are going to visit them in this season you are going to visit them in this season in the name of Jesus I want to minister to you you are from there too come stand the Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people as I lay my hands and minister to you I want you to know that everything that does not represent God uh, and everyone pursuing you in your dream and disturbing you it must end in the name of Jesus Christ for you there is there is I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head we must remove it because it's not God that put that crown out in the name of Jesus Christ that devil is a liar take it off of her the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. We are going to pray for you. 
tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her then a breakthrough deliverance first then breakthrough for the deliverance she will see it in a dream it's like something will be chasing her to catch her and she will see somebody who will snatch her out is a dream connoting deliverance father visit this family out in the name of jesus christ the student here huh? yes. we must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family we must stop it in the name of jesus christ glorify yourself oh god i curse this spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ lift your hands everyone before I begin to minister to the sick God is bringing deliverance to families right now we are going to shout Jesus at the count of three this is not just to you but God is stepping into families some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things devils lift your hands everybody at the count of three you shout Jesus at the top of your voice and the power of God will move mightily in this place father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity right now I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit every family shakatatata, under any demonic siege my goodness the power of God is already touching people right now at the count of three let that shout be like a code in the spirit one two three be delivered now 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 altars be broken altars be broken over families over families inside and outside and those following online i break it right now every family under any spell every family that's right kappa takata bring them out shakatatata every family under any spell oh you must leave them you must leave them i speak to those spirits hear my voice in the name of jesus there is no hiding place for you you must go you must go you must go it's time for their deliverance you must go hallelujah my goodness god is doing miracles right now god is so help that lady please help them sisters lift your hands i want to pray for just the sisters something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit that puts women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout jesus my goodness i pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 lift your hands there are people here strange dreams strange dreams in the night you sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams from men or women or animals coming to sleep with you or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day whether you believe it or not is not the issue i want to settle those things right now lift your hands lord where are these people from the dream realm from the realm of the spirit as you shout the name jesus anyone under this condition some of you that's what is responsible 
for masturbation some of you that's what is responsible for pornography some of you that's what is responsible for delay lift your hands father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three Oh, I bring you deliverance in the name of Jesus. I cause those spirits, causing delay. You must leave now, 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 now. Shaba ba ba ba, shake te te te, kapra ta ka ta ta ta, shake te 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 te, reke te te te, go 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 go. Watch what they do. Shaka ta 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 ba na na ba, em protoko to pariata. That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. yes 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 prophesy i'm moving forward this is the ninth month by the blood of jesus i'm moving forward i'm moving forward under this anointing hallelujah hallelujah i like you to shout after me Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus, I bring those gates down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Come on Koinonia. Everything. Every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every legal access. Every claim. The devil has. Over my life. 
over my family by the blood of Jesus I declare that I'm free by the blood of Jesus I command my liberty I declare that the price for my freedom has been paid therefore Satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of Jesus every curse every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of Jesus pray Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Listen, many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer. I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people. You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen, human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed-Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen, some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you that's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus this is strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly I like you to pray and say every atmosphere that I carry that does not come from God and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight I declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck I may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial I challenge it I change my spiritual climate by the blood of Jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we're going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence I like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that 
was stolen. One more time. Forget about your situation. Just prophesy. Just prophesy. You may not know how it will happen. Just prophesy. One more time. Prophesy. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. All the years, all the fortunes, every opportunity, every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of God, I command them to come back to me. Go ahead and pray. This is a serious prayer point. All the years, all the fortunes, all the opportunities, all the access that have passed your life. Pray like Samson. Pray like Hezekiah. Pray. Let there be a restoration. And I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray the last prayer point. Listen. There are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people in the realm of the spirit. When Jesus was born, certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star. And the moment they announced to Herod, a king is born. Herod said, ah, a king. He said, please find where he is and tell me so that I will come and worship him. But his intention was to kill him. You are going to pray over your destiny. Please take this prayer point seriously. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I declare that my destiny is secured by the blood. Every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus release it now pray pray release my destiny release my destiny my prophetic potential release it release it Hallelujah. Prophesy after me, say in the name of Jesus. This is my year of the rain. It's a new dimension for me. I'm breaking every limitation. Say it again. I'm breaking every limitation. And I declare that in this remaining part of the year, an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk Hallelujah. We're going to do two things at the same time right now. Listen. If there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body, it's time for it to die. Are we together now? Are we together? Now, please just address these people. We're going to have all those people come and line up. While that is happening, please, I beg you, if you do not write anything in your prayer request, 
please if you need papers maybe the ushers can pass it we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch off your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you the devil is a liar he must everything let you go tonight that was stolen We don't just lay hands on people i know that it takes a lot of time but it's the way god is directing us it's not just ordinary hand laying it's a prophetic point of contact some of you are coming out for sickness but the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness is that the mama with cancer okay no no problem no problem she can come if she cannot stand just give her a seat let her sit down please those who are weak and cannot stand please you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse the, the woman with cancer if she, if she cannot come just administer to her. everything that was lost make sure you are writing your prayer request please everything that was stolen shall be restored hallelujah all of you that are coming out i want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us there are all kinds of ministries this ministry is like a spiritual factory it's like a spiritual workshop it's where we dirty our hands on the job and as i minister to us please i want our hearts to be open don't just stand watching the power of god touch people the moment i lay hands on you and minister to you i want you to receive you can go back to your seat some of you will be under the anointing it doesn't matter as i pray for you you don't have to scrounge i will lay hands on everybody it's going to be a quick walk it will take time Please, when you write your request, pass it to the ushers. In case there are things, listen, listen. Let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point. Don't just write things carelessly. While you are writing, be praying in tongues. Because the Spirit of God will bring into your mind, bring you into remembrance. It may even be a matter that is not your own. You heard the story of the gentleman. Dropped a prayer point and nine months later, they are coming with twins. There is nothing God cannot do father in the name of jesus i pray over your people there are powers tying down their destinies but you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform let there be miracles go ahead all of us we can join praying in tongues while i pray for these people occasionally worship team you will help us lord we give you praise in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at this i don't know they can't see it on screen it's not clear this is a leg that is bent. Father, do a miracle. They didn't fix it well. In the name of Jesus, right now. Let the power of God do a miracle on this leg. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you know my Lord. You know my
point number two lord i take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight lift your voice i will not miss out on anything hallelujah who brought this woman please huh? what's the issue what's wrong hallelujah we'll soon be rounding up let's just hear no 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 keep us standing. what's wrong paralyzed mama can she talk yes mama for how long because I paralyzed did. yes i went to the house and met she can't walk on her own she can't walk very well mama in the name of jesus christ i curse this spirit it's okay in the name of jesus mama look at me in jesus name lift your hand lift it go don't look at just lift it put it down lift it again paralyzed hand look at this look at this mama clear the way for her in the name of jesus christ walk come don't hold her come 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 turn around turn around walk come 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 on, give Jesus it's praise. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Paralyze. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right. We see miracles. We see miracles. We see miracles. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. the power of paralysis it never returns to you again in the name of Jesus you are the son that brought her your, she's not your mom yes. but you brought her yes. I pray for you may you never lack helpers in your life because you are a young man you are not related to her yet you carried mama out of compassion this miracle is because of you I'm laying hands on you and I prophesy to you all the days of your life may help us be around you like this in the name of Jesus Christ for as long as your eyes can see the sun you will find the helper in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you celebrate mama God bless you there's a miracles everywhere make sure you submit your prayer request everywhere you're in ministry I want you to come out I, I don't mean you want to do ministry you are actively in ministry come and stand here it's time for you to take fresh fire please if you come out and you are not a minister I'll send you back I assure you don't embarrass yourself if you're a minister and you know not just that you sense the call of God please don't embarrass yourself 
We are going to pray for everybody. But if you are a minister, come, go ahead. Don't be afraid. We're in a season of God's glory. Please listen. We're in a season of God's remarkable grace. It takes signs and wonders. Not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. For the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone. I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request prophesy. And we'll, I'll, we'll do all this within the next 10 minutes so that we're done. Father, I pray. It's not by might is not by power Lord as I lay hands upon your servants let something new something divine my God I pray activate the gifts of the spirit in them activate the operations of signs and wonders let utterance be given unto them let their lives oh God produce results Results, oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire. 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 Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New levels. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. New dimensions. Fresh grace. My goodness. Fire is falling. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Fresh anointing. New anointing. New dimension. Gifts of the Spirit. Vision. Three. Prophecies, multiplied graces. I prophesy to all of you, let it be a new season in the name of Jesus. New season, new season, new season. I empower you for a new dimension in the spirit. I empower you. Fresh grace, fresh grace. stretch your hands towards the prayer request unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come please stretch your hands it's a prophetic instruction God gave us we have seen amazing testimonies if there are still people left please let them come let them drop it very quickly in one minute I'd like you to begin to pray Lord it's time to turn my story around my goodness as we pray miracles will begin to happen to people right in the crowd right in the crowd as i'm touching the request something is happening to you something is happening i'm seeing angels lightning all over all over all over father in the name of jesus we pray go ahead and pray everyone
I release angels. I activate angels. I release angels. I activate angels. In the crowd right now. I turn this request to testimonies. I activate angels. Lord, solve problems, solve problems. Let burdens be removed. I activate angels. I activate angels. Hearken, O God, we cry unto you, O God of Jacob, we cry unto you, O God of Israel, unto thee that answers prayer, shall all flesh come, we cry unto you, we call upon your name, call the night of people into day, turn their morning into joy, O God. Hallelujah. I tell you, mighty miracles are happening. I see all kinds of miracles happening in the realm of the spirit. Father, turn these requests into testimonies. The way I walk on them, oh God, these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of jesus christ under our feet forever in the name of jesus christ all our visitors please come out quickly if you're a visitor here you're a visitor this is your first time Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation, risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself. Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. Hallelujah. But seriously, we're trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens. Some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. Kaborato shatabaladaba. Nandekele koroto suto prashia. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain, rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them, help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels. In the name of Jesus Christ, step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia, a place of encounter. It's not just the name of a meeting. It's the name and the dimension of the operation of the Spirit. We bless you with hunger for God. We bless you with passion for the things of the Spirit. I'm praying for you. You will go back with such fire. You will go back with such passion you will not recover from. I pray that everything that has not been working in your life, let it be activated tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Friday.
um, this is not our usual venue our venue is Christ Gospel Church at New Extension but we thank you for coming I bless you in the name of Jesus and I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart and on behalf of everyone in this ministry and the many who are joining us online that you will return with a strange miracle in the name of Jesus you will return with a strange miracle some of you even before you get home your miracles will be waiting for you some of you this night you will have dreams and encounters and the veil over your eyes will be open some of you this night God will show you what has been happening in your life God will show you direction I see God giving a lot of you direction direction for the next level you will hear his voice very accurately in the vision of the night in the vision of the night he will show you in the name of Jesus Christ we bless you for those of you who have never been here I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details outside very quickly and then you come and join us those of you who have been here and we have received you you can just go back to your seat with a blessing but those of you who have never been here you've not put down your name we need your names and details I want you to make your way here in the name of Jesus everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meet now you be God God. You know be my news. You know be my Now him be God. You know be God. You know Two more times. Now you be God. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Kogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Kogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please, this for me, you always hear me say this. I consider this to be the most important part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of prophecy this is where the word of God comes into you like a drug and literally literally alters you and so I want you to receive with your heart open hallelujah please receive with your heart open in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you, I want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. I prophesy no more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears in the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted, I prophesy. May a supernatural anointing come upon it. Let it begin to produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Extraordinary results. I pray for everyone due for promotion. And every of your loved ones due for promotion in the name of Jesus we cause the embargo stopping their promotion and we prophesy promotion there will be testimonies of promotion the power of God is touching people everyone and every family called jobless I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this Please help them. I feel like fire on my hands. Everyone represented here and every family called jobless. Right now in the name of Jesus, I release an anointing for supernatural jobs. 
Receive it, receive it, receive it. Help them, please. Receive it, receive it. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now. Makata kata tata pakata. Shekata kata kata tata tata. The anointing that came on Elijah that he guarded his loins and ran. Ma bro toto pekete. Lekete te kototata. Receive that anointing right now. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise and your family to rise, I declare that to their shame, my God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. Everyone who says, can anything good come out of your life? I prophesy to you, in this season, God will use your life to answer them. God will use your life to answer them. I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Whoever needs to come into your life in this season. No, let's start it this way. Whoever needs to go out of your life this season. In the name of Jesus. If their presence has been causing you pain and setback, I break you free from them now. Wrong associations, be free from them now. Wrong relationships, we break it now. Wrong soul ties, we break it now. Wrong connections, we break it now. Wrong fraternities, we break it now. We break it now. We break it now. I command them out of your life. Out of your family. Listen. Some of our parents, the trouble in their life is because they have wrong friends they will never leave. They keep influencing them to make useless decisions. I pray for every family. Any stranger manipulating the destiny of any family through the counsel of Ahitophel, today we send them packing from their homes. Packing from your homes. In the name of Jesus. Until Samuel appeared, the destiny of Saul remained covered. Until Jesus appeared, 12 years of hemorrhage continued. Whoever must appear in your life, Whoever must appear, Magato Topata. You hear me talk of destiny helpers all the time. Your next level comes from God, but through the hands of a destiny helper. From the realm of the spirit, destiny helpers, I call you. From the north, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, wherever you are, locate God's people. Come into their lives in the name of Jesus. Every academic challenge, you have tried and done everything you know to do, but you need a miracle in the name of Jesus. I release my faith upon with you. Receive academic miracles. Now, 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 now. We activate angels to faculties, angels to departments, angels to faculties. 
faculty of art, science, environmental design, medicine, engineering, administration, education. We release them now. Miracles in the name of Jesus. That favor anointing that makes men run to look for people to bless them. I pray for you. When the favor of God came upon my fever shed, Saul looked for him and blessed him. Receive favor right now. Unusual favor. Uncommon favor. Uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus. Before I pray the last prayer point, listen, if you're here and you've not given your heart to Jesus Christ, please, I can't pray this last prayer point without making this sure because I want to pray something dangerous. If you're here, you've never given your heart to the Lord, please listen, inside and outside, or you once gave your heart to Jesus Christ, but for some reason, you see they're already coming out, follow them. You found out that you need to make your ways right, please our time is limited in one minute inside and outside you're welcome make your way to the front god bless you bless you they are coming koinonia celebrate them don't sit back don't sit back this is a family this is not all of you i believe there are still some people outside clear the way for them please clear the way god bless you sirs. bless you sirs. celebrate them jesus is calling you god bless you ma calling you to give you a new beginning Please, if they are coming, clear the way for them so that they don't become discouraged. Motivate them. Clap for them. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Run to Jesus Christ. He will give you a new beginning. If the Holy Spirit is telling you to come out, come out. Don't sit back there. Don't sit back there. Many of you are hearing the nudging of the Spirit. He's saying, why are you sitting down? Don't argue with him. Make your way hallelujah thank you so much for coming out brothers and sisters i want to lead you in a prayer of salvation it's not a poem it's not a special number it's a it's a genuine prayer of dedication god bless you hallelujah lift your right hand high to heaven and say this very passionately please you are not reciting a poem this is not an article you are praying to god this is a prayer that is going to save your soul and redeem you and empower you to be great say lord jesus i believe in you and i love you with all my heart i ask you to forgive me my sins i receive jesus christ into my heart be my lord be my savior from today my past is gone it's a new beginning i receive eternal life into my spirit the old is gone and the new has come in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now i stretch my hands father these ones have come to make a decision for you i pray that this decision will be permanent they will never backslide no going to the world no going to the flesh i release grace upon you to live the victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ every wrong association every company of wicked and senseless people you will not have any appetite and desire to be close to them again you will love them but you will not associate with them again i receive grace for you to edit your friends wicked and unreasonable people are far from you forever in the name of jesus christ i bless you congratulations in the name of jesus it's a new beginning please follow the gentleman waving his hands and they will have your details will follow you up in the name of jesus Please lift your hands for the last prayer point. I want to pray for the gift of the Spirit to fall upon your life. This is why I said we have to pray for them. Please lift your hands. Just a quick walk in one minute. Some of you have passionately desired certain things. Some of you have had dreams but you cannot understand. God is speaking to you. There are many of you that have longed to hear the voice of God. You are praying and somehow you hear it but there is no clarity and direction. There are some of us that are trusting God for newer levels of the anointing, the gifts of the Spirit. Please lift your hands. In one minute, I'm going to pray. 
there will be a great impartation upon you all the gifts of the spirit the nine recorded in the bible and every other one that is available in god father i'm praying right now as your people shout i receive let there be mighty impartations there are people here who will carry strange fires strange grace at the count of three shout i receive one two three receive it right now right now right now right now gifts of healing impartations visions 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 prophetic encounters Kaparatata. receive it right now in the name of jesus word of knowledge word of wisdom gifts of leadership administration dreams visions entrepreneurship every gift available receive it now now please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself i pray for you what you could not do by the gift of the spirit go and begin to do it where you could not enter by this new anointing go and enter nothing dies in your hands in the name of jesus christ Celebrate jesus and rejoice. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline